Hi there, in this video we're going to try and put some life into origami paper. We probably know that origami is the art of folding paper. And this project is about trying to combine this craft with technology. If you remember, I've already tried to make something very similar a few years ago with this paper butterfly. This has two actuators made from magnets and two conductive ink coils. But not a lot of people have a plotter, so it's difficult for ordinary people to try this at home. Besides this, the conductivity of the ink is very bad when compared to copper. Now, if you're familiar with my project, you know that I have already developed this PCB actuator. This is just a millimeter thick, so I think it would make an excellent choice for an origami actuator. But for the last couple of months, I have been developing a better alternative. My idea was to turn the PCB coil into a flexible sticker, so this can be easily mounted to any smooth surface. This is not as powerful as my 12 layer PCB coil, but I think it can be used for a lot of other different applications. Now before I start testing this with origami, I have to make sure that the adhesive on the back can sustain the temperature. At maximum power, the PCB can go up to 100 degrees Celsius. So I also have to make sure that the paper on the back side doesn't burn up. two types of adhesives and after a few weeks poured on the tessa started turning into this brownish color the paper cover also got burned up but the 3m adhesive managed to survive a month poured on its adhesive didn't turn into a brownish color and the paper samples didn't have any damage however i did notice that after two weeks its cover also turned into this brownish color and i didn't manage to peel it off correctly so before using this always make sure to remove its cover i did test a couple of more samples that were banded two samples were conducted to this 38 mm diameter can and both of these survived a month without any problems the other two were connected to this small diameter plastic pipe and i think the band rate is here was too small as with time the coils got peeled off. It also made a nasty burn to the pipe so I guess its material is not rated to go to 100 degrees. I turned this PCB actuator sticker into a kit which you can now buy from my website for just two euro. I went a little off track here but I had to tell you about the coil specs and its warnings. So over here I made different origami samples and I'm going to test the coil with each version. Each origami should have different motion and I'm not 100% sure that all of them will work but I'm planning to start from the easy ones and then work my way up to the parrot. I'm not going to go into how to fold every one of these origamis because otherwise the video will take forever but I will link each tutorial in the description below. For each prototype I will be connecting my coils with silicone insulated wires which are super flexible. I'm also going to use different size M50 to Nidemio magnets and my flexor driver which is connected via USB to my laptop. I'm going to start with this paper dog and my plan here is to actuate the ears. I connected the two coils in parallel so that we only have to use one driver. At first I was a little disappointed with this dog's ears, but finding the optimum frequency is key here. Now this has quite a large fold over here, so I think by reducing the distance it will make it flap a little more. The ears can also be made lighter by eliminating the top magnet. We just have to add some glue and you have a new best friend. That turned out pretty okay, I think. Let's move on to some more Halloween themed stuff. I have two bats and a skeleton. This one is pretty simple to implant because all we have to do is put a coil over here and a magnet on the other side and this way the two wings should flap. The tricky part is going to be passing the wires. So I'm just going to make a hole over here. I think this makes for a great Halloween prop because you can enclose everything in a 3D printed case and also use the coils as a speaker. Now this other bet is a little bit more complicated because it can flap its wings by pressing the bottom and head. I'm going to try and create the same motion by putting the magnet at the bottom and one coil on the back head. I don't think this is going to work at all, but let's try it out zero motion let's try and connect it over here 
I think we can confirm that this one is a fail. The coil isn't powerful enough to push the two wings, which are double folded. Then I moved to the skeleton head origami. Initially, this also didn't work that well, so I made some cuts to the fold to make the mouth move more freely. I then realized that the mouth was not fully closing because of the magnet and soldering joints. So I glued a larger magnet to the inside. And given that the mouth area does not flex, I added a 12 layer PCB coil. And the puppet's mouth was finally working. The next prototype was the Scorpion. This is probably my favorite because of how simple it works. That's pretty damn cool. Both the coil and magnet are at the bottom, which push each other to vibrate the tail. For the frog, I decided to try and actuate the front side because the back side was just too chunky. Its legs had four paper layers and two very close bends. So for this one, the coil didn't manage to move anything. This frog is quite unbendable, so it makes more sense to go with the 12 layer PCB. But the legs magnet still didn't work with these 12 layer coils. So I added a larger magnet at the bottom and it managed to do some small jumps. Although they are more like push ups rather than jumps. The butterfly feels very solid, so what I'm going to do is cut one of the wings layers. I kind of overdid it with the cutting, but the butterfly also managed to flap its wings. For the bird, I decided to put the coils on the wings, but one magnet on each side didn't do the trick, so I ended up putting three magnets on each side. The grand finale is the school little parrot. This is probably the prettiest origami I have ever made, so I felt the obligation to do it justice. I started by putting the flexible coils on the wings and hiding the magnets in the middle. This created a weak movement because the wings have a very small area and they are also folded in the middle, which makes this task a little bit harder. I tried to use larger magnets, but the improvement wasn't that significant. So it made sense to move to the 12 layer coils. The parrot's wings are quite flat, so the new PCB coils didn't really affect them. I also added another flexible coil on the neck, so this can also make some small movements. Then I coded in some sounds to make it feel more real. In the future, I would definitely like to explore this field more, combining flexible PCBs and origami. Even though I'm selling this actuator on my website, its design files are all open source, so that you can also integrate this into your own PCB design files. And if you'd like to get started with PCB design, make sure you check out the link in my description. There you will find a link to download a free trial of Altium Designer and learn about all the tools it can provide to optimize your electronics design skills. See you next one. Bye.